Hello, YouTubers! <laughs> Welcome to the, the stern of the boat. We're in the act cabin and we're going to tackle this rudder here. We got to drop the rudder out of the boat. I've got to get all this hardware out of the way and off. Um, and then we'll be able to do the packing gland. We'll probably redo the bearings, all that stuff. Uh, but at least we can see everything once we get everything out, make sure nothing's uh, got any damage. And talking about damage, so the rudder has that split down the seam where the, the rod comes through, the post. Um, and um, so as soon as I got this off and I was inspecting it, right down in here, and I'll give you a close up here in a second, but right down in here on this, um, it's like a big heavy bronze, I guess bronze or brass, um, it's got, looks like when it was founded, when it was poured, um, that's what I'm hoping. It's an overlay of a pour, um, but the way it is, it's right here and it goes right across through. So here's the rudder assembly down in here. Um, this is what I'm going to take off first. There's some screws on either side of this that I'm going to have to take off and then this whole piece should come up hopefully. Um, but this is what I was talking about. That's actually my, goes to my um, autopilot, heavy duty autopilot. Uh, even here, look on the wall there. See that green thing? That's a gyroscope. How cool is that? Old school, analog, but uh, definitely a stout one. So right here, this is what I'm talking about. You see that line right there? I'm going to go in close and I'm hoping, you can kind of see it here, I'll bring the light down, but I'm kind of hoping that's from casting. Can you kind of see that? There's like a line there. Oops. Uh, that's what's making me nervous. It looks like a casting kind of mark, but then it also kind of looks like a crack and I won't know till I take it apart. So that's what we're tackling. I don't know. I'm just hoping it's not a crack because if it's a crack, that's major. That's probably at least a $2,000 piece because of the material it's made out of. And so uh, hopefully they still make them. It's made in New Bedford, Mass. It's got even got a part number. So at least trying to search it out and find it shouldn't be too difficult. But uh, we'll see what happens once I pull it and uh, inspect it closer, maybe with a magnifying glass. And I'll take it next door. There's a metal aller allergy, metal allergy, whatever. He does like works with all different types of metals on boats and stuff. And he's really good at welding different types of metals and fixing things. So um, I'm going to take it over there, get a professional opinion. And uh, hopefully it's just a casting. Like I said, when they poured it, it just, sometimes that happens when you cast, it'll leave a little uh, thing. Um, that's fingers crossed because like I said, if that is what it is and it's a crack, it's a major. Uh, and it makes me nervous looking at it because it appears to be a crack. So, all right, well, digging in again, adding more time to boat projects, but uh, that's how it goes. So, all right, let's get going. Ow, that was my head. All right, here we go. Diving in. What the hell? two of these. I'm glad I bought two of everything. I got to a point when I just started working on this boat, 
I just didn't have, I had, because I sold all my tools, right? So I sold everything I had in Idaho and was going to move to the Philippines. Well, then I bought this boat. And so all I really had was all the tools in my truck. And they were like pieces and parts of stuff. I mean, there's enough I could fix my truck. You know, it wasn't great. And a lot of them are used tools I got given to me by different people. And uh, it was frustrating. And then I started trying to work on this boat and not having the right tools for the right job. I was stripping bolts. I was doing all sorts of crazy stuff. And it was making my life miserable. So... I actually saved up a little bit of money and I went off and I, <laughs> I have everything I need now, pretty much. Uh, I will never skimp on tools. No freaking way. So, there we go. She broke. I better take a picture. Remember? Take a picture. It'll last longer in my memory. There we go. So as you loosen it, it keeps tightening. <laughs> oh, boat work. I love boat work. Oh my God. What am I going to do if I fix everything on my boat? What a boring boat. <laughs> Could you imagine buying a brand new boat and not having to fix anything? How boring would that be? Oh my God. These people with all these new boats and these big fancy catamarans. What a bunch of boring ass people. <laughs> Boat work builds character. <laughs> it really does. I swear. Boat work builds character. Yay! Here we go. Oh shit. One nut down. Hey, is that my wrench down there? Uh, anyways. Put this one back on too. I'm just loose enough to make it work. What are these? bolts going all the way through. What size are they? Where are they? Feeling, feeling. Okay. Yep. So, 9 sixteenths. 9 got it. guy rocks. Have you ever watched that YouTube channel, Boat Works Today? Dude, I love that guy. He's amazing. If I put on an extension, I'll be able to get farther. Future, hopefully. Boat work. It's a greasy job, but someone's gotta do it. It's a greasy job, but someone's gotta do it. Yeah. You don't get a lot of other channels singing to you, do you? That's why we're so amazing here at Wanagi and me. <laughs> oh my god. I need to talk to more people and less to myself. Uh, yeah. So, the thing is, is the rudder post seems like it just sprung when I loosen that. So, I'm a little nervous that... See, you stick your tongue out to the side, it gives you more leverage. You didn't know that, did you?
good though. I'm glad I get to do this stuff because man, I'm learning everything about my boat and where it is. And when I first bought my sailboat, I was so overwhelmed. It was crazy. It was scary, you know? I mean, something like this uh, that I've never really had any experience with. There she goes. Guess what? I think now I need to get this coupler off. Wow. That is going to be a bitch. Oh yeah. Thank God for pipe wrenches. All right. Next step. I gotta, I'll be right back. I'm going to push pause. Right. Right tools for the right job. You got to get the, basically it's the pack, what holds the packing gland, seals the rudder. And that need to be replaced, the packing gland, I'm sure. It's totally corroded. I'll show you here in a second. Sorry about the bumpiness. Here's what I'm trying to get into. See this packing gland here? <laughs> totally corroded. It's probably been seeping salt water. All the paint's coming off, so definitely it's been leaking in the past, so it needs to be repacked. It's probably never been done. Not by the old owner. He didn't do shit. Anyways, I got to get that off. So uh, I got to get a shorter wrench though, so I can get in there and get it. Um, but that's the plan. So I'm gonna put you on pause and we'll be right back. All right, so you got all the stuff undone up top inside the boat. So the next thing is taking these out and that'll be it. Hopefully it'll drop right out. That's the hope anyways. Go. Oh.
Well, she dropped a little bit anyway. I'm gonna need help getting it out though. It seems to be jammed up in there pretty good. Anyways, I'm gonna go get someone to help me and uh, get her down, so we'll be back. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been uh, hanging out this week, uh, trying not to do anything. I've already taken about three or four days off. I think I kind of fractured my hand trying to get my rudder out of my boat. Um, I'm also working on the front hatch here. Um, well, was uh, doing a uh, building up epoxy kind of long uh, for setting the, the hatch down into. I have that all on video I'll share. Um, I went to the boat, boat graveyard, blah, blah. So when you grow up, kids, you get to have cookies and coffee for breakfast and no one can tell you you can't. <laughs> <laughs> um but anyway that's what we've been doing it's raining out so not much going on here in Bellingham Washington mm. yeah all right that's it